Hey guys, what's going on today? Oh gosh. What's going on guys? Today we're doing a review on TAC veins. If I remember right, these were designed by or in part by Levi Morgan. So anybody that's any familiar with competition archery knows who Levi Morgan is. He's probably the most prolific and successful archer in the world. He's the man. Um, so you would expect nothing but great things out of these veins. And honestly, I can say that that's what I've had. Those are the results that I've had with them. So these veins, when I first pulled them out of the package, the, the very first thing I noticed is it's a stiffer material than what I'm used to. I generally use AAE Max Hunter veins. Those are my favorite, have been for a little bit. Before that, I used Fusion veins. And again, both of those are a softer material than this. This reminds me more of a Xeon Fusion vein, um, except that it doesn't have any adherence issues, at least not in my opinion. So I typically prefer a softer vein, and the reason why is they tend to hold shape better so if you shoot them through a target, they reform to shape easier and things of that nature than a stiffer vein does. And I can honestly say that's true with these veins. I've shot uh, through my target a couple times and it does crinkle them a little bit and deform them. One thing I can say of these veins that I can't say of other stiff veins, however, is just by leaving them, they reform to their normal shape. So the Xeon Fusions, for example, if they got a crinkle in them, they were pretty much done. Pull them off and refletch, or sometimes I could get that crinkle out by putting it over boiling water. With these, I literally leave them sit and they reform to exactly how they were before. So that's a huge upside for these. Now when I purchased these veins, I purchased them with the full tack vein package, the glue, the primer pen, and the vein. And using that package, I think they're honestly the best adhering veins that I've ever used on any arrow ever. I really don't think you could pull these off. I know I've refleshed a few arrows and I have to pull them off with pliers. And that's even if like the, I didn't get good glue adherence on the back end or I didn't get enough glue back there and it you know, popped off so you try to like re-glue it in place. I've been pulling those off, but I have to use pliers or cut them off because it just adheres so well. So the vein adherence is gonna be a really big deal to me. Matter of fact, in my opinion, it's the biggest deal when fletching and these for sure meet every expectation I could ever want, which makes me really confident when shooting through an animal or anything like that, that these veins will stay attached. And I have a high likelihood of being able to reuse that arrow without fletching. So the longer veins here, I fletched with a right helical and the shorter veins I fletched with a left offset. And I wanted to do that because I wanted to see how well the veins do with different configurations. Uh, some veins I've used in the past have issues with the base in certain configurations. I figured I'd test these out. No issues at all. Really, this is everything I would ever expect Levi Morgan to have his hands in. It's all quality, all super awesome. I've got six arrows. I'll go ahead and shoot six of them into a group here for you. We'll run down there and maybe if I shoot one through a target, I can talk about that crinkle a little bit and show you what I mean. Well guys, there it is. Six arrows, two different fletch configurations, all stacked right in there. I just ordered a hundred of the AE Max Hunters and I think they're just gonna get to sit on the shelf because uh, this is gonna be my fletching choice this year. I like how stiff the veins are. They're gonna control the arrow really well in flight. And I really like the fact that they reform into how they were if there's any deformation of them. The adhesion is gonna be the best I've ever used. You might find something that's comparable, but I promise you, you won't find anything better. I've used a lot of glue combination and fletching combinations, and I just, I've never had anything that adheres better than these veins. So, you know, like I said, this is my choice. Now, if you wanna try some, I'll drop an affiliate link in the description below. Basically, an affiliate link is just a link that when you click it um, and purchase, I get a little bit of commission, and it really helps this channel grow. So if you would like to try some, please consider using that link. As always guys, I thank you so much for watching and we will catch you on the next one.